Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. PowerPoint allows you to insert various shapes into your slides. Inserting shapes into your slides is a very easy task. Just click the Insert tab in the ribbon and then click the Shapes button that appears in the Illustrations group. You can then view a drop down menu of all of the various shapes that you can insert. Roll your mouse pointer over the shape that you would like to insert and then click it to select it. Your mouse pointer will then appear as a black crosshair when you place it back over the slide. Decide where you want the graphic to appear in your slide and then click and drag across the area in the slide where you want the selected shape to appear. It will then be inserted into your slide when you release your mouse button. You have a few techniques available for you to use that can assist you in creating your shapes. For example, you can hold down the shift key as you click and drag while drawing in order to create a perfect version of the selected shape. For example, holding the shift key when drawing lines will make the line that you draw perfectly straight. You can also create perfect circles and squares by simply using this method in conjunction with either the oval or the rectangle shape as needed. If you don't care about setting the size of the shape as you insert it, then you can actually use a different method to insert a selected shape. Using this method, you still start by selecting the shape from the ribbon using the Shapes button as you normally would. Then you hold down the Shift key on your keyboard. Then you simply click once at the place in the slide where you want to position the upper left corner of the selected shape. PowerPoint will insert a shape with a default size into the position at which you clicked. Once you have inserted a selected shape into your slide, your mouse pointer returns to its default behavior and you exit PowerPoint's drawing mode. However, sometimes you may want to draw several of the same shapes without having to go back and reselect the same shape from the Shapes button over and over again. In this case, you may want to lock PowerPoint into its drawing mode as you select your desired shape from the Shapes button's drop-down menu. To do this, simply right-click on the shape that you want to draw within the drop-down menu instead of just clicking it. From the pop-up menu that appears, click the Lock Drawing Mode command. Now you can return to your slide and draw as many instances of the selected shape as you wish. Note that you can cancel the Drawing Mode lock by simply pressing the Escape key on your keyboard. When you draw a shape, the shape should appear as being already selected. However, if it is not selected, then you need to click it in order to select it prior to formatting the shape. Once the shape has been selected, you will see the Format tab of the Drawing Tools Contextual tab appear within the ribbon. This tab provides you with several formatting options for the selected shape. We will now examine what formatting options we have available to use when dealing with shapes. You will find that many of the options are similar to the options that we have when formatting clip art and text boxes. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.